कर लिया आप ठीक है सेट कर लिया बिल्कुल सही है ना गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड वी आर स्टार्टिंग अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट पार्ट ऑफ फार्मोसिकल एनालिसिस दिस इज अ कोड ऑफ दिस फार्मोसिकल एनालिसिस लैब दैट इज बी पी वन जीरो एट पी नाउ द थ्योरी पोर्शन ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड इन द थ्योरी पोर्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर द ग्लासियर्स व्हिच वी यूज इन द फार्मोसिकल एनालिसिस लैबोरेटरी नाउ हियर वी विल डिस्कस इन द प्रैक्टिकल पोर्शन This is our first aim objectivity that we have to study the glass layers in the pharmaceutical analysis laboratory, which we are going to handle. So this is our first objectivity that you will write as it is. Then comes to the references. References means the books that we have taken for the uh, reference of this experiment. With the help of these books, we are doing this experiment. So first author. This is the name of author, Mandel J. Denny. RC. This is Mandel J is one of the name. Danny RC is another name. Barrel J D is another name. And Thomas and J K. These are the four scientists who have written this book. The name of book is Bogle's Textbook of Quantitative Chemical Analysis. It is the sixth edition of the third book which we have taken. It is from the Pearson Education Publisher. It is from the Davis 2006. Edition it is and the page number this is PP is nothing but the page number one zero five two hundred and twelve. This is the another reference. The name of scientist is J R A and Underwood A L. The name of book is Quantitative Analysis, fifth edition, printed on two thousand six, page number one hundred and twelve to four hundred fifty. So this is the two references from where we are covering the part of these glasses. Now we will come after this. We will come to the after aim reference. We write the theory portion that we will discuss or that I will make you do. So. Now we will see uh, the theory portion of this. After the aim, we have written the references. Now the theory theory will cover uh, all about the glass phase which we have to use like butyrate, butyrate, polymeric glass, polymeric glass, beaker, polymer, iron glass, being water. So we have. We will, I will discuss uh, each one by one. You can see first is butyrate. So you can see this is a butyrate which is placed here, and you can see the butyrate is having the mark from zero to fifty. This is used for the titration. This is a knob which is used to stop the solution to flow out, and this is a just a tip of butyrate. It is having a capillary. Tube in that. The so and this is a butyrate stand we have. Over that we are holding this butyrate. This is used for the titration. Then another is the pipette. Pipette. Now we will uh, we will start the pipette. Butyrate we have discussed. Now the pipette. Pipette may be of two types. We have. We are having two types. That is volumetric and graduated. So we can have a picture of pipette we have. That is, this is a pipette. You can see this is a volumetric pipette. You can see this pipette is having a only a single mark here, and it is having a bulb-like shape. And you can say it has a neck, long neck it has. It is used to transfer the fixed volume. That is why it is a volumetric pipette. This is used to place the sample in the conical glass. Another type of pipette we have a graduated pipette. You can see it is having a multiple marks. It is high, like it is. This is of 10 mL. You can see it, this is having the varied marks from 0 to 1. You can see it is divided into 10 portion, uh, and from 1 to 2 it is also divided into 10 portion. Likewise, it is of 10 mL. So this is from graduated, and this is volumetric pipette. This is volumetric pipette. It is of 20 mL. Then next we have volumetric glass. You can see this volumetric. This is the volumetric flask. Already we have shown you the pictures of volumetric flask. Now we are showing how you will use it in the lab. It is having a cork over that. Now you can see it is having a single mark, which is which is denoting it the volume of the volumetric flask. It is of hundred ml. That means this mark is showing it is of hundred ml mark. Then we are having the conical flask. This is the conical flask we have. This is of 250 ml conical flask. We are having a varied volume of conical flask. It is used to place the sample. 
and which is uh, placed below the burette to uh, when we put the sample here we just put the standard solution from the burette like this we swirl it so it is used it the shape is designed in such a way so that the swirling is not allowing it the solution to come out that is why its shape is just like a beak shape you can see now another is a beaker you can see this is a beaker one of the beaker you have that is of 100 ml different volume beakers are available in the lab it may be of 250 it may be of 500 it may be of 1 liter so varied volume of beakers are available it is used to place a solution then funnel funnel you can see this is a funnel which i have capped it over the grid it is placed over the grid and it is used to transfer the solution you can see the we are transferring the solution with the help of a wash water this is a wash water it is nothing it is having the distro water in that then we are having the iodine flask this is the iodine flask it is just like a conical flask only the difference is that it is having one uh, that is a stop cock over that which is used which is placed over that so that the iodine which is placed in the conical flask that is iodine flask will not come out so it will prevent it to go out that is why it is come iodine flask then weighing bottle this is a weighing bottle we have it has a lid and it, this is the base of that in that in this we place the compound and it is uh, used for weighing of compound so this is a weighing bottle then we are having the measuring cylinder measuring cylinder 10 ml this is a 10 ml measuring cylinder you can say it is having graduated mark over that it is used to transfer the volume whatever we desire so this is a graduated measuring cylinder it may be available in the 50 ml form or 100 ml different types of volume are available in the graduated cylinder also this is all about the glassware we have to handle in the analytical laboratory so thank you.